focus at Bishop Burton is on technical education. Our land-based specialisms include agriculture, horticulture, equine, animal management, countryside management, but we've also over the years moved into non-land-based areas such as sport, public services, childcare and many more. The challenge for the college is to make sure that our students develop the necessary technical skills to be able to farm more efficiently and productively whilst at the same time improving the environment. One of the key areas we're focusing on is precision agriculture. So with this system farmers use GPS and other digital technologies to actually import fertilizers, pesticides and seeds much more accurately than they did previously. The agriculture industry has an important role to play in tackling the climate crisis and it can do that uh, by locking up carbon in its basic raw material, that's the soil. Through the use of the latest technologies and regenerative farming practices, we intend to become net carbon zero by 2030 and that's 10 years ahead of the NFU target. We have been working closely with Bishop Burton College for a number of years, both in the education and training sphere and in the provision of precision farming technology. The agritech industry in the UK faces an unprecedented number of challenges. We face economic and sustainability challenges in agriculture, which I think it's commonly recognised now can only be addressed through the widespread use of advanced technology. We're going to see a really big move into the use of data in order to do processing of the large amounts of data we can gather from these small machines in order to make decisions in real time as to how we treat every small area of land differently. Agriculture is still a people business and in order to exploit these machines and this technology to its full it requires people with new skill sets. At Manterra we've been absolutely delighted to have the opportunity to work with Bishop Burton College to bring forward the integration of new technologies and the educational sphere and the training sphere because Without the people that Bishop Burton bring through of all age groups, we cannot go on developing the technology and taking it out into the workplace. The College Farm has made big, big step forwards in embracing new digital technology within the last couple of years. Uh, and the reason why we're doing this is because the College is committed very publicly to a policy of net carbon zero by 2030 and we're using this along with a, a very wide range of other technologies to enable us to uh, be able to uh, achieve the benefits of that. I think the next few years are going to be a particularly exciting time in UK agriculture. There, there's a uh, ever expanding growth of newer and more exciting technology that's going to help the industry to be more competitive on a global scale but also it's going to mean that some of the jobs I did when I was a young man of spending hundreds and hundreds of hours trogging up and down fields on a tractor, that's coming to an end, that's going to be replaced by technology. Hopefully, what the future will bring is the ability through adopting precision technologies to be able to bring about a reversal of climate change, lowering of global levels of CO2 through managing the soil better, and that's something that all the society needs to see. One of the biggest challenges that we face in land-based technology is to train students uh, with the breadth of skills that they need to be able to work on the range of equipment which is being used in modern day agriculture. The, the equipment that we're using on modern farms today is replicated here at college and that gives us a big plus point when it comes to teaching these students and the only way we can do that is by funding through the IOT which gives us the ability to invest in this technology ourselves. Here at Bishop we have an amazing workshop with welding fabrication facilities 
We've got masses of machinery that we can work on with more of the, some of the traditional systems on board and we also have some of the most up-to-date technology that is used commonplace throughout agriculture in the UK at the moment. We're really able to offer a truly comprehensive education here and much of which is thanks to the investment that we've been able to put into the facilities that we have here. Employers that we work with are keen to recruit students that have been to Bishop Burke College because they know that they'll have had a good practical background and with this investment that we see around us they'll appreciate the far more industry ready. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about the college's use of digital technologies to improve farming efficiency and productivity and to reduce carbon emissions. I'm hugely grateful to our employer partners for helping us to achieve our vision and make it a reality. It's obviously a complex field which requires high level technical skills but also it requires a desire to make agriculture a part of the solution to climate change as well as a contributor.